starting in 5 seconds madam in india the constitution provides that the citizens have fundamental rights and all the fundamental rights are nothing but human rights the basic law provides that these fundamental rights can be enforced by moving the courts for their protection for instance the prevention of untouchability act is one of the most important laws which protects the fundamental rights of the citizens in our country madam i would like to thank the honorable members for having shown so much of interest in the amendments suggested to this law by the government and for having given very good suggestions i would like to limit my comments to the general principles relating to the human rights then to the amendments suggested by the government then to the amendments suggested by the honorable members and then conclude my reply on this bill we all know that in the parliament as well as in the state legislatures questions are asked from the government as to how the fundamental rights were violated and as to how the government failed to protect the fundamental rights of the citizens that is one of the most powerful instruments available to the representatives of the people to protect the fundamental rights we have a strong judiciary in our country at the apex is the supreme court at the pen ultimate level are the high courts and at district and taluk levels there are lower courts through these courts the fundamental rights given to the citizens are protected and fortunately for us we have a very very strong media in our country every violation of a fundamental right is highlighted in the media in the newspapers and now on televisions those facts are brought to the notice of the government and the people in the country media is a very powerful instrument for creating public opinion though media does not have the power to punish anybody directly yet the public opinion is so strong that the fundamental rights of the citizens are protected over and above this the national human rights commission was brought into existence it was provided in the law itself that the states government may have the state human rights commissions this is over and above what was already available to the people in the country madam one of the amendments which has been suggested is not allowing the magistrate to refer the matter to the human rights commission i am not in a position to accept this amendment the scheme of the law that we have with us is this any person who feels that his human right is violated can go to the court and get the remedy if he thinks that going to the human rights commission is easier and more helpful he can go to the human rights commission he can make an application and can get the relief there are one or two points which are made here and one of the points was the national human rights commission should be given some authority madam what is said in this respect is correct that they do not have the direct authority to see to it that the findings given by them become binding on all but then we have many other organizations in this respect the most powerful body in the country is the supreme court what is said by the supreme court has to be followed even if you do not like the order given by the supreme court it has to be carried through that authority is given to the supreme court the high courts and the other lower courts that authority is allowed already given this is not something of the same kind 
this is something bigger and different if we study the charter given to the human rights commission it is something bigger it is related to the policy making it is related to the research it is related to the bigger issues if the human rights commission comes to the constitution conclusion that something in which punishment has to be awarded the commission will not award the punishment but it will refer the case to the supreme court to the high court to any other court for punishment and then the punishment will be given by that court this is the arrangement madam over and above all these things in my opinion what is really helping is the ethos of the people the people in the country are themselves protecting the human rights of one another for every man committing a crime or violation of human rights we have hundreds and thousands of people protecting the human rights the most important thing in our country is that not only we respect and protect the human rights of our neighbors but also we respect and protect some rights of the living creatures we respect even trees we respect even animals that is our attitude towards life and it is really helping us i would like to say that the media today in our country is not having any sanctioning authority power to punish anybody and yet how powerful it is because it creates public opinion the united nations is an international body which is presiding over the matters relating to the most powerful nations in the world it has no power to punish yet it has the power to create the public opinion and that public opinion is more powerful than the authority which is given to anybody to punish anybody the human rights commission is something like this it is something which can be treated at a very very high level but as far as the actual functioning is concerned it is the supreme court and other courts which are punishing and is seeing that the order passed are implemented but to the extent it is necessary and possible to give more powers to the human rights commission we will again examine it and wherever necessary and possible to do something in this matter we will be happy to do that stop